What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 105.5 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host, JR, Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online when the game starts. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Covering content and hot topics from A to Z. Sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews. You name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku. As well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. All right, folks, back on up to Richmond, Virginia, to call Coach Chris Mooney, 18, Richmond Spires, here on the Boston Man Show. Coach, good to see you again. It's a great Friday morning. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Happy to be with you, and uh, hope hope you uh, are having a great week yourself. Yes, sir, Coach. Hey, I'm doing I'm having a great week. Atlanta Hall training camp starts on Monday, so I'm just trying to enjoy my last few days of freedom before the grind starts. <laughs> <laughs> No doubt about it. And I know the grass started for you all this past Monday. Man, so tell me about how the practice has been going for you with you guys. And how excited are you getting on the court with your young men and man, see what you all have on, on the court this year, man? Yeah, it's it's always a great time of the year. You know, it's it's different than it used to be. The first day of practice was, you know, years ago it was the first day you were with the guys all all um, fall, and they ha- hadn't seen them really in the summer. And now, you know, being that we're with the guys in the summer and the fall, it's a little bit less dramatic. Uh, the first day, but it's still exciting because, you know, you're in your, uh, you have your full practice schedule. Um, you know, you haven't practiced uniforms and, uh, you know, everything kind of really gets, gets rolling. Uh, everything really gets rolling. And so uh, it's, it's great. You know I mean? You have guys who are excited. You have guys who are competing because it's a new year. And, uh, you know, you're just trying to, figure out what, what your best lineups are and figure out how uh what the best way to play is. And the one hundred percent coach in this summer coach, I'm asking this coach morning. Um did you all have to do a lot of team stuff this summer? Yeah, I mean, what, what about the guys this summer? <laughs> yeah, so we, we kind of mix it up. So we'll probably go basically get four hours, right? And uh so we'll usually go four days, maybe sometimes five with just an extra shooting, but for about, you know, 40 minutes or so, maybe 30 minutes. And we'll alternate between having, you know, one-on-one with guys, uh, small groups with guys, or team workouts. I would say this summer we probably did a few more team workouts because we have so many guys. And just to get the uh, get the newer guys used to the rhythm and the pace and kind of the, you know, the, the things that we do that might be unique. So even if you're a veteran in college basketball and a transfer, we might do some things that are unique, and it's it's easier for the guys to learn if we're doing doing those things together as a team. And Coach Moody, I don't think sometimes fans understand. When you go to a new system, a new coach, it's like a foreign language almost. Like you might call it this, you might call it a smash or a dig or whatever. Hey, it's, if your language is a little bit different. So it's really learning a new language when you go to a new team, a new coaching system, a new scheme. Because a lot of times fans don't quite understand that, that nuance of basketball, <laughs> what we deal with. Yeah, for sure. That, that, that's a great point. You know, you have um, 
it, almost in every part of your 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 team, everything that you call it, practice, every game call, every defensive uh, strategy, you're you're probably calling it something a little bit different. You're probably emphasizing something just a little bit differently, whether it's on ball screen coverage or uh, you know feeding the post on offense and what you're going to do after you feed the post. So you know those things that these guys who have transferred, they've worked hard to build the habits of their program. And now you're asking them to not only learn something new, but make that a habit and make it so they do it instinctually. And that takes a little bit of time. And it's also cool. I know for you, I know for you have been a part of a team and seeing the how the older guys embrace the new guys, how they mesh together. I think that's always fun to me. See how different practice comes in, the different guys there, and then how they mesh together. I would find that I'd be a team fun when a transfer comes in, meeting them and kind of figuring out who they are, their background, so we can all become one together, eventually get on that court and win and win together, be a family. Yeah, exactly. And I think that that's probably the biggest strain right now on college hoops because with so much movement, you know, if there are so many transfers in, every school's losing a handful of transfers, replacing them with transfers and freshmen. And, you know, with all that movement, that that that's that's something that, you know, it puts that much more emphasis on who you recruit. You know, so not only, you know, do you want them to be here and have the time together and uh, work on the court and and have fun off the court together to build those those bonds and that relationship. You also you want to give yourself the best chance by recruiting the guys you think can be successful at your school, uh, and you think will fit in with the with the current current guys you have. And that's tougher when when it's a window of transferring and you might only be recruiting for three weeks or four weeks. So, um, you know that's that's where we are right now, and that's what it is. And I, I feel like I hope we've done a really good job with that and recruiting the right guys, guys who can who are talented but also can be successful at Richmond. No doubt. And Coach, do you feel like since you've been there so long at Richmond, going to your, your 19th season here, that get, when, you, when, it's supposed, when, you, when you call a young man or call a high school coach, they respect you because they, they know you've been there a while. They know you've been successful. This is my tournament business and all those good things. And that helps you with that cash. They help the young men want to come play for you, knowing what you've done and accomplished in your, your career. Yeah, you know, that's one thing we try to emphasize in this, you know, in this world where there are a lot of coaching changes, a lot of player changes. Um, that we've had stability and, you know, we have two of my former players are on our staff. Um, you know, we, we've, we haven't remained stagnant, you know, we've renovated our arena and we've added a practice facility and we've, you know, done things to really enhance the program, but that there's stability in terms of, uh, you know, a certain style of play, a certain relationship that we have with the players, uh, the alumni support, the fan support that we get. So we do think that's really important and, and helps us not only in recruiting, but also in retaining guys. No doubt. I feel like Coach Mooney, in this new world of transfer for the NIL, being a relationship guy, being stable, all those things really mean more now than ever because, you know, you they, they know you're a staple there at Richmond, that you're about the community there, you're about the guys, you, and you got players on, on your roster, on your staff who play for you. So it's like it's really a family with Richmond. I feel like that piece is going to be so important because – if you're just trying to get a guy just to get you saving your job, it's like it's like transactional. It's like it's not really, really just real. But in this world where it needs to be real, guys like yourself are gonna succeed because you actually build things with a young man and you can see from your staff, you really care about your players and you will help them after Richmond. Yeah, exactly. And that, that's a big part of the offseason too. You know, we have a, a lot of guys come back um, you know, to to visit in Richmond, to get together, to play pickup or work out in the gym. And uh, when our guys can see that and see the guys who have been out two or three years or seven or eight, nine, ten years come back and, uh, you know, the relationship that we have with those guys, the relationship that we've had with coaches who have been here or still here or have moved on, yeah, I think that really is critical. And, and you talked about it tra being transactional. You know, that there's probably a certain part of that that's unavoidable now because a player wants to go to his best possible situation. The coach wants to – you know, the best possible player. Uh, but you don't want that to be the whole thing. You don't want it to be just transactional and you, you you plug a hole for us and fulfill a duty. You want it to be where the, the you know, the player comes in. You know, he has a chance to excel on the court. He has a chance to get a, a tremendous degree. Um, you know, he has a chance to improve and, and, and you know, have more value to the team. Uh, I, I don't, just don't think you want it to be all transactional. I understand that piece of it, but it, it can't be all transactional. It has to be somewhat of your relationship and somewhat built on trust and experiences that you have together.
And coach, talk about this too. You you you, you, you get your guys get degrees. Guys come to Richmond, they leave with a degree. You graduate with your young men. Talk about that also as well. Getting that Richmond degree, helping them network with people in, in their big major. With being close to DC and Virginia, all these you can network and get into from where your location is. But I think it's very important. People don't realize you graduate with your guys. Very important. We are student athletes. And that degree is very important, and you help keep your guys degrees. Yeah, for sure. You know, we, we've been, you know, lucky in that we have uh, a great commitment from the school for our players. Um, you know, I think the 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 feeling around the school is that uh, and around our program is that, you know, you you get your work done and you, uh, you know, you attend every class, you participate, you, you ask for help when you need it. Uh, ultimately, the, the goal is to get the degree. And, you know, I think sometimes we're, we're a little bit short sighted in the NIL world. Uh, where, you know, that degree is going to be worth, you know, many opportunities that, that could be worth uh, a lot of money, a lot of stability, a career that you love, um, you know, and, and I think that we're a little bit short-sighted in, in the NIL in general, uh, not, not saying it's, it's the wrong system, uh, but getting a degree from a, from a prestigious school, that's really going to carry value for the next 50 or 60 years. And, and I don't want our players to lose sight of that. And I'm example one on one of that. My degree is a business coach. It's not communications, but the business piece of it <laughs> help, helps me off the air because the talking part's easy. I play ball, so I can do that easy. But it's like the business piece of the accounting, the marketing, that piece of my degree is what helps me off the off the air because that's where really where I do all my most of my work at off the air, not on the air per se, keep this thing rolling for the last 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right about that. That's those are the most important things, the unseen part. Yes, indeed. And coach, let me ask you this, man. Uh, if you can, who are some guys in your mind who really got better, better, better for you this summer? They really stood out to you through summer and getting better. And guys who think you have a big year for you this year? Well, I think Aiden Noyce, number one. You know, Aiden is a redshirt sophomore. He played a little bit last year during his redshirt freshman year, uh, but he's very talented. Can shoot the ball. Um, really athletic, great feet. Uh, he's about six, seven. I think Aiden, uh, really had a, a tremendous off season, really works very, very hard and has a chance to have a great year. Uh, Jason Roach, who, uh, played a lot for us last year. He had surgery at the end of the season. Um, he has really, uh, improved, you know, he's a tremendous shooter, uh, but a guy who has even more to offer than that in terms of his grit, toughness, his sense for the game, he's really improved. And then, uh, Neil Quinn, who was a good performer for, last, for us last year, he played with the Irish national team this summer. Uh, for a seven-footer, he's really, really committed to basketball, loves being in the gym, loves playing. Uh, so I, I think we have had really good improvement. And over the years, that's probably been the biggest uh, part of our formula is guys that come in and, you know, maybe they're a little thin uh, or just a little short or something at first but they work really hard and they have the chance to improve. And I think that hopefully that'll continue to be something that's really, really valuable and vital for us. And Coach, you have an uh, interesting non-con schedule. You're doing the Sunshine Slam in Florida. You know, Orange on Bowl Classic, two, two, big, two things you're going to be doing. But talk about those two things also, how to challenge your team in non-con before you get to that tough A-10 gauntlet you all have, man. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, we're going down to uh, Daytona Beach, Florida, um, where we'll play Colorado in the first room, and the other side of the bracket is Florida State and uh, UNLV. So that's a really uh, high-level tournament. And then a little bit later in early December, we go down and play in the Orange Bowl Classic, which I think we did in 20, 2009 or 10, and we play Florida in the Orange Bowl Classic in Fort Lauderdale. Um, you know, we also have Boston College away and Wichita State. Uh, we host Siena. So we, we feel like we've put together a really challenging schedule. And, you know, we've always done that at Richmond. I think that uh, that's just something that's part of, of who our program is and how we go about it is that we, you know, our, our greatest, our most uh, recognizable national um, part of our program is these wins over big teams like, uh, Indiana and Kentucky and Kansas and um, Wisconsin and Purdue. And I, so I think that, you know, we want to continue to give ourselves those chances as, as much as we possibly can. I just want to for you, Coach, how about this, man? 
being able to promote forms in, in, in your already ecosystem and, and also finding quality guys outside of the Richmond family, building your staff, having that quality staff. You have a great staff. I've seen the guys who you hired, man, those staff promote this summer, man. Talk about that and, and how key it is to have good people you know, that's inside, that's outside of the family to really do good work for you and your vision for this program. Yeah, that's everything. I mean, you know, you have to have, um, you know, there, this is a hard job, you know, in terms of, um, you know, there are a lot of hours spent uh, coaching, mentoring, recruiting. Uh, there are a lot of times away from your family. You know, we, we had a really busy spring and summer because of this new wave of, of recruiting, which is, includes the transfers and the transfer portal. And so it's just a lot of time, a lot of hard work. And uh, the priority has to be helping the players, you know, and, and making sure that the players uh, just are continually, continually know they're supported, that they have uh, a whole staff that's there for them uh, for little things and big things. You know, these guys are away from their homes. Uh, they're giving many, many hours to the, to the team and our coaches. I, I think they're, the demand on them is to make sure that the players are doing it the best they possibly can. And, um, and I think uh, we, we've we've been able to find great coaches and, um, you know, guys who really understand that are committed to, to everybody in the, in the program. Coach Mooney, thank you for coming on the show as always, Coach. I've been cheering for you. Hope to talk to you in March after you win in D.C., man. If we celebrate <laughs> again, then what are you going to quit dance again? We did last time, so we'll do, do it again, Coach. Sounds great. That's, thanks, thanks for having me on. Great to see you. Thank you, Coach, and be safe, man. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye now. BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV. Yes, BS3 Network, changing the way you watch TV, covering content and hot topics from A to Z, sports, music, society and culture, movie reviews, you name it, we have it. Check it out on bs3network.com or check us out on Roku, BS3 TV on Roku as well as check out your favorite podcast on all podcast platforms or Spreaker.com backslash BS3 Network. You are now tuned to BS3 Network. What's up, good people? Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. The latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wages, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use your promo code BLEAV, B-L-E-A-V, for your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online. When the game starts. What's up, family? Jared the Boss Man here. You're tuned into the Boss Man Show on AM 1010, AM 1430, 1055 The King. Get the King out at 105theking.com and the Boss Man Show at bossmanshow.com. Hit me up on Instagram, the Boss Man Show, Twitter at Boss Man Show, and Facebook, Boss Man Show. It's the Boss Man on your Radio. Listen to the Boss Man Show with your host JR Saturdays at 9 a.m. right here on AM 1010, The King.